purpose of this video is to provide some basic troubleshooting when there's no response from a FlowServe digital positioner. Start by verifying that the air supply is sufficient. This is typically between 60 and 150 PSI. Also, verify that all the fittings, including the supply fitting, are tight and not leaking. To rule out problems with your electrical supply, connect a known good 4 to 20 milliamp output device to the positioner. Next, verify that the feedback linkage from the actuator to the positioner is connected and in good condition. Attempt a quick cal to see if there is movement. Refer to our video on how to quick cal. With at least 4 milliamp output from the device to the positioner, see if the LEDs are illuminated in front of the positioner. If they are lit, check to see if the flashing code indicates that the valve is in digital mode. You can check the flash codes in the IOM specific to your device. If the positioner is in digital mode, follow the instructions in the IOM to place the valve into analog mode. On the Logix 3800, start by holding the single line arrow button for three seconds. Next, check the status codes to verify it is in analog mode and it may be necessary to recalibrate the positioner. Any other sequences of flashing LEDs can be checked in the IOM to determine the condition and follow the corrective steps provided in the IOM. If your positioner is a model 3200 or 3400 Logix, then the spool and block may be sticking. To remove and clean the spool valve, refer to our video. If the gauges are moving and the valve is not, Check for other accessories such as fail-safe systems or solenoids that may be preventing air from getting to the actuator from the positioner or accessories with blocked exhaust ports. If the valve has a manual hand wheel, ensure the three-way valve is set to auto. If there is still no movement, see if there is movement of the gauges which could indicate the positioner is functioning but there may be other mechanical issues causing the valve to stick. Remove the tubing from the positioner and apply air to the air action side of the actuator. If the valve still does not move, this may indicate mechanical problems with the actuator or valve. If the gauges are not moving, then the positioner would be suspected of a problem and should be looked at by a qualified individual. As a last resort, perform a factory reset by disconnecting the 4 to 20 milliamp signal, then holding the quick cal button while reconnecting the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Once the factory reset has been completed, perform a quick calibration. After checking the above, please consult with a factory technician for further advice. For more information on this or other products, please contact your FlowServe representative.